All right. So there is a recent survey that came out that uh, tells us that about 86 to 90 percent of uh, people in uh, organizations they do not really trust AI systems. They don't trust the decisions that are made automatically by these uh, data solutions, AI solutions, machine learning solutions, and whatnot. Uh, and so this is a big, big problem. Uh, and I'll speak about that in this video. How to uh, how to gain trust in these AI solutions and what are the implications uh, of not trusting these AI solutions. But before I go there, if you are an organization who is looking to implement AI solutions, data science solutions or any type of cyber security uh, solution in your organization, get in touch with us. We are elite uh, technology consultants. I am one of the leading experts in the field of artificial intelligence. I have four patents in AI. And I'm an author of two books on technology. One of them is related to cloud infrastructure. Uh, another one is related to um, cybersecurity. So we have a lot of expertise in these areas. If you are somebody who's looking for world-class experts to help you with your complex projects, get in touch with us and my team will be able to help you out. You see, as human beings, we always have distrust of new things. So whether that's a new person in our life, new place, new food that we are eating, we don't really trust something unless we have tried it and we found it satisfactory. Now AI is such a big paradigm shift because as humans, we think our superpower is thinking and making decisions based on our thought, our experience, our gut feel. And slowly uh, AI is taking over by recognizing patterns that even humans cannot recognize clearly. A uh, good example is in healthcare, you know, diagnosis of, of cancers, of various diseases is being offloaded to AI. Uh, you know, facial recognition is being used to detect uh, uh, people, their presence and whatnot. And there are so many other examples where AI is taking over these decision making cap uh, capabilities. What happens is that if that decision is not huge uh, risk to us, let's say, you know, we are giving a command to a voice enabled uh, device, um, even if that device doesn't really understand our command, it's okay. So we can trust it uh, it, there, is, there are no big implications to that. So that's where people can trust these uh, simple AI solutions because the consequences of, um, of something going wrong are not huge. But let's say you know you are using uh, an AI system to, um, to figure out whether to amputate a leg and the doctor uh, is listening to this AI system's decision and the AI system says, okay, go ahead, cut the leg off uh, based on historical data. But that's a huge decision and, and a doctor will not be able to trust an AI system with that big of a decision because at the end of the day, they are human beings and they know what it means to cut off a leg. So in these situations where the consequences are huge, you need to build that trust slowly over time. We cannot expect as humans for us to delegate our major life decisions to an AI system. So the right way to approach this is obviously AI is at the beginning of its uh, of its journey. Like AI as a technology is few decades old, but still it's it's in its infancy. So we should try to utilize this time to create smaller and less risky use cases. Get general public to really understand what is going on behind the scenes, meaning how AI actually functions, how it observes the real world data, and then it makes decision on what it is seeing in the real world in the past. And these patterns, uh, you know, we all know history is cyclical. We live in a cyclical universe. So if we are able to detect these patterns with high level of uh, certainty, then when we apply these decisions in the future, they will actually be right decisions. So if we start to understand the mechanism, people will start to gain trust. Just like when we started driving automobiles at the, at the beginning of the century, uh, most people did not actually trust the automobile. It did, they did not trust it will actually function. They did not trust it will actually stop when they needed to stop. So there was a lot of education needed. There was a lot of small incremental changes in our psychology to be able to trust uh, the automobile to take us from point A to point B. And same is the case with many, many other, other groundbreaking inventions. If you talk to somebody who's not very tech savvy, they will be even scared to press a button on, on, a, on a keyboard thinking that they may break something or they don't trust technology that much. So this is only extending into these larger paradigms of artificial intelligence and whatnot. And 
in order to gain trust we just need to have a little bit more patience with the users we need to educate them a little bit uh, what is happening behind the scenes and that's how we can start to regain trust in technology and start to rely on on it to even make bigger decisions on our behalf so well i mean we are going to get there sooner or later but i feel like these are some of the human level uh, challenges that we need to solve before ai really taking off and changing our lives so um, i hope uh, you found this uh, uh, video informational and if you are somebody who is looking for solutions for data science ai machine learning any of these technologies get in touch with us we are elite technology consultants in these areas with uh, decades of experience so get in touch with us and my team will be able to help you out